Uh, this video is about uh, measure of association and testing on of, of normality by using Python. Uh, so we can use uh, uh, first we should have data and uh, for example, we have uh, this data and that uh, should be in CSV or Excel file or you can use uh, any uh, format of data like if you have stored the data in stata and so on uh, now about this concept i have already explained uh, in my earlier video lectures for your convenience here is the link of uh, these video lecture uh, now you can create uh, this data set uh, with the help of uh, other types of uh, data structure in python uh, like uh, if you are using in uh, like uh, pandas data frame, you can create it with the help of dictionary. Now after uh, saving this data in CSV file of Excel, uh, now we want to access this data. Now let's start in Python. Here we have a notebook. Uh, first we will check uh, uh, the path of working directory by using this command. So you should copy uh, this file uh, in this directory. Uh, and the directory name uh, that is shown uh, below by running this command pwd. Uh, anyhow, uh, you, you can even use uh, the exact path uh, by reading uh, the data that is stored in a particular CSV file. But uh, before using uh, uh, to access the data, uh, first we should import a uh, pandas library. Here we have for uh, import, then pandas as pd. Uh, we, we can perform, uh, uh, we can use basically uh, different libraries to perform or to calculate or to show uh, different major of situation and to show normality test. Uh, luckily, we have SciPy library for this purpose and we have many more libraries as well. I'm using just a SciPy, so import SciPy dot stats as S. Now, first of all, after executing this, uh, these two commands, uh, first we read uh, CSV file from Panda's data frame. The nickname of Panda is PD, and we have this read option, and we are reading CSV file. And here you should sp specify the exact name as uh, this the data file that I was showing you earlier, uh, this one is presented, uh, is stored uh, in user Dr. Halsfield directory. So you, you may be have a different directories as well. Now I will just write the name of file here. The name of file is data.csv. And, and it is stored in a partner's data frame named df. And just Control enter and df. Now in df, it is partner's data frame. Uh, we have rows as well as we have column. Now you can see that uh, here uh, we have uh, some uh, non numeric data. And if uh, we want to uh, change this uh, non numeric data uh, into uh, numeric form, uh, for example, we have this categorical data. Here you can see that we have different types of data like categorical, continuous, dichotomous, linear, nonlinear, and ordinal uh, because uh, we have uh, different measures of association. Uh, like uh, for nonlinear, uh, we use uh, Spearman uh, correlation uh, test. And definitely, if we have one continuous and the other dichotomous data, we have other measures as well. Uh, to change this data, categorical data, into numeric, uh, we have the command uh, of factorization or factorize uh, in pandas. So we will create a new uh, column 
अपनी कैटेगोरिकल वन एन एन फॉर न्यूमेरिक इज इक्वल टू देन पी डी फैक्टराइज एंड हेयर वी कन्वर्ट दिस डेटा फ्रेम दैट कंटेन कैटेगोरिकल वन and here we will write zero and second then we need because we have two categorical data we again uh, convert and just copy this one and here just replace 1 by 2 because we have these uh two variables so oh, just execute by entering control and enter key now again look at uh, data frame now here we can see that uh, we have two additional column uh, categorical uh, one and categorical and two uh, now we want to convert to ordinal for this because in ordinal data you can see that We have low, high, medium, and then cold, hard, warm. So, so we have six different uh, types of this ordinal data. Uh, so, first we create a dictionary uh, so that we can map. Because in Pandas uh, data frame we have map function. Uh, now, first of all, we create a dictionary. For example, for RD, uh, ordinal mapping, the variable name is ordinal map, and then for uh, dictionary. Uh, we use uh, curly brackets and then we have like uh, low it is a key and we want to assign one then we have medium make sure that uh, you are writing a uh, correct spelling uh, medium now for medium we are assigning key to and for high we are assigning let's say 3 so we have we are basically converting uh, this ordinal one in the same way we can co convert or we can change or we can create a new uh, variable that is in numeric form and we have here you can see that cold warm and hot so we will assign this uh, uh, variable so cold let's say it is a 1 and for warm two and then for hot it is 3 now we have created a dictionary with name poem now we want to use a uh, map function and by creating again a new column like we have created earlier df let's say ordinal 1 numeric is equal to df ordinal 1 now we have the map m a p map this one and then we will write dictionary name o n and we will repeat the same for second ordinal data set i'm just copying here so here just change one with two and here as well
Now look at data frame again. Now you can see that uh, here. Uh, categorical data as well as ordinary data are converted uh, into uh, by creating new columns in the existing data frame name DF. Now we have, for example, uh, that these uh, categorical as well as uh, ordinary data are no more required, so we can drop these uh, variables as well. Uh, we have and we want to store uh, in uh, another data set that is let's say df2 and here uh, we can use df draw function it's basically draw function and we then mention the names of column where uh, those columns we want to draw here the first one is let's say categorical one the second one is categorical two And the third one is ordinal one. And the fourth one. Estimate. Sorry. Uh, then ordinal two. Uh, here is some mistake. Let me check. Uh, DF2 drop categorical one, then categorical two, then ordinal one, and then ordinal two. Uh, here we have used uh, uh, drop DF, yes, DF, and then uh, drop. And here we should mention access as well. Let's say access is equal to one because one represent columns. So now it is OK. Now just look at DF2. Now we have only the numeric data in DF2. Now just describe it. Here you, here you can see that we have a number of observation, then average value, standard deviation, minimum, first quartile, second quartile, third. But uh, this described function as uh, deficiency that it is, it is not showing uh, skewness. So you can uh, display skewness and kurtosis uh, separately, like uh, we have this one, skewness. And then kurtosis as well. Now these skewness and kurtosis just are the shape of the data, and I have already explained in my uh, video while it's manual calculation. Now, if I am interested to display uh, these skewness and kurtosis in descriptive statistic, uh, then here is the technique. First, first of all, I will store uh, the output of descriptive statistic in data frame three. Describe. That is stored in uh, DF2 and then describe. So, DF3 data frame contains descriptive statistic. Uh, I have stored this output of descriptive statistic of data frame 2 in data frame 3. Now, I want to insert here skewness as well as kurtosis. Uh, so, for this purpose, I can use uh, location command. Here I am using uh, location command. DF3 dot log. And then. The name of. This is let's say skewness. And here I will calculate. Skewness.
And the same way for cortices, I will repeat the same by changing the name with curve. And here I will calculate from data frame to curve process. And I, I want to also display data frame three. Now here you can see in data frame three, we have uh, the skewness as well as kurtosis uh, in the described. Uh, so this deficiency uh, is removed now because most of the software uh, display skewness as well as uh, kurtosis. And now we can perform uh, different measure of uh, association uh, of uh, on this data uh, that is stored in uh, DF2, like uh, for example, We want to calculate, uh, let's say, uh, Spearman and Pearson calculation. So all these are available uh, in uh, SciPy uh, statistics uh, library. So first of all, uh, I want to calculate uh, uh, correlation. So uh, it will, uh, and correlation matrix can also be calculated uh, in Ponder uh, data frame as well, like this one df2 dot first covariance so here is a covariance uh, matrix and for uh, correlation So this is the correlation matrix. Now, if you want to calculate uh, uh, this correlation coefficient and other measures uh, for two variables, uh, here uh, we have uh, measures like uh, uh, if we are using SciPy stats, we have Spearman correlation and so on. And I will explain uh, this uh, in my uh, next video. Thank you very much for watching this video.